Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the podcast. I have with me a very special guest, a performer who goes by the name Shinusuke-san. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Shinusuke from Japan. <laughs> so you are a performer, and yep. it's very exciting to be talking with you because you seem to be very dramatic and very... Uh, um, you, you have a theater skills, as I gather. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me a little bit about yourself? <laughs> right. Uh, actually, I've been a professional performer uh, more than 10 years. Um, um, that I'm, I'm mainly uh, focusing on Japanese traditional performances, like uh, sword fighting performance and Japanese dance, including acting, and also uh, sometimes singing as well. Then um, I was performing in theater, also uh, in historical drama as well. Um, uh, but what, how to say, uh, I'm really happy uh, to uh, make somebody who watch uh, my performance be uh, happy after watching my performance. So yeah, I'm quite happy to be a performer. Yeah, uh, I'm happy to have you on this platform on my podcast. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me, did you always want to become an artist, a performing artist? Uh, yeah, I wanted to be a performer, um, but also, oh, how to say, I, I've been doing many things, uh, uh, not only performances, but including producing, the directing, um, also now it's a little bit focusing on more, a little bit more business side, uh, for example, marketing things or something like that. So, uh, from my perspective, everything can be related to uh, art uh, expression. For example, uh, my passion, the inspiration. So I think many things can be okay for me too. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when did you start performing? Or did you learn uh, art in theater? Or you, did you just start performing? Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, when I was uh, a junior high school student in Tokyo, I started and. the a performance, but at this moment it was a much a thing, not really professional. Um, but that timing made me uh, maybe want to be a professional in the future. And then um, continue that from uh, junior high school students to university, and also I became professional after uh, when I was 22 years old, 23 years old. So as a professional, I started performance at that timing. Yeah. So how do you mentally prepare for a show? Because, you know, there is a lot of talk about the mm -hmm. mental restraints and the fatigue that performance, mm -hmm. uh, performers feel, especially in, uh, in Hollywood and in Broadway and stuff like this. So mm -hmm. how do you prepare mentally for each show trying to be, I I'm guessing you want the per perfection because every performer wants, wants to have that, that moment of, of, of perfection to know that the crowd is pleased and you are pleased as well as an artist. So how mm -hmm. do you prepare for each and every uh, show? <laughs> yeah, actually that's very interesting that uh, because I, I think that's really important for performers. Um, for example, for in my case, um, I always focus on being flat you know, before the performance, uh, not really uh, too positive, not really negative, but just uh, keeping me uh, flat, uh, just a neutral position, um, so that I can control myself, become positive and negative uh, at any moment in the performance. So this is really uh, important uh, for the performance. And of course, of course, being uh, calm, uh, is also important, but uh, in my case, uh, being flat is the most important thing. Yes, zanshin, yeah. zanshin. Yeah. Ah, arigato, <laughs> zanshin. <laughs> Thank you. Wakarimasu. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, do you like the fame that comes with being an artist or 
to try to stay away from that and just focus on the art mm -hmm. itself? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, of course, um, some frames, uh, I, I'm quite happy with that. For example, uh, just the audience is standing um, the prize after the performance. This this means uh, I made them uh, to be happier before the performance. So I'm really happy with these kind of things. But uh, normally I focus just focusing on performance uh, to think about the audience, how I can make them happy uh, after the performance. So I do just focus on um, the performance, uh, even if uh, there's just one or two audiences in front of me, it doesn't matter the number of audiences. So, you know, I just try to my best all, all the time. Thank you, Arigato. Yeah. And um, did you have some kind of experience that influenced you greatly that was imp impactful and important to you? in your per personal uh, life or a career that that driven you to to go on continue and to mm -hmm. better better perform as a person as an uh, actor and artist i see it uh actually maybe in my life the the really important moment was when i was 20 uh, about 20 years old uh, i was in united states at that moment for half a year or something like that. Then I met uh, a lot of friends from all over the world and uh, meeting different culture and different history, uh, different religions and everything was very new for me. So uh, I have to say, but at, at that moment, actually I was a little bit ashamed uh, of myself because I did, didn't really know a Japanese tradition or at that moment so uh, because everybody uh, from other countries um, they are proud of themselves with uh, their countries and the history or something like that so I uh, just decided uh, to start uh, learning Japanese tradition after coming back to Japan so that moment was I think a very important moment for me to change my life so this so this <laughs> mm -hmm. so, this. <laughs> mm -hmm. so do you have any other hobbies and interests or do you have different uh, career paths that mm -hmm. you would like to take in the future i see it uh as i told you uh i'm also focusing on some uh marketing things uh producing things so maybe in the near future i uh, want to also focus on these kind of things to spread uh, our expression and passion or something like that. But uh, uh, personally, um, my hobby can be music as well. Then nowadays I, I'm trying to create some uh, art performances related to music. Um, as I, as I really like uh, Japanese animation too, maybe something related to Japanese animation and the singing or something like that. So maybe in the near future I can make, that I can show you um, people some new kind of performance. So yeah, yeah I hope um, you enjoy it. So how long were you planning to continue to be a performer? Um, mm -hmm. Or you, you still have the drive, the, the passion to do it, to go up on stage each night in various mm -hmm. different cities around the world, as I gather also. So. Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course I want to do uh, many performances. Um, the, in, in, the, in those words, is that I want to show my passion, the expression to uh, many people in the world. Uh, because of that, I maybe my performance may change some people's lives and the feeling and after watching performance this is really important then yeah so uh, i would be a, a professional performer and the artist for longer years maybe until i don't know uh whole my life or something like that <laughs> It was Arigato. a pleasure talking with you, and I hope mm -hmm. we can talk in the future.
Oh, yeah, sure, sure, anytime. Uh, thank you so much. Sayonara. Yeah, sayonara. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for thank watching, you. and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>